Though they'll always have pictures, Danea Placencia's children, her family, won't touch her or hold her ever again. Her grandfather told our sister station in South Florida the young mother died moments after a Brazilian butt lift procedure weeks ago. The surgery was finished. Then they moved her body to the stretcher, and all of a sudden she became blue. When you hear about a death, it just takes the wind out of our sails on the one hand. On the, on the other hand, it motivates us to organize better, uh, to get the word out to the public and to other surgeons. That's why Miami area cosmetic surgeon Dr. Michael Salzhauer and more than 100 of his peers have banded together as the World Association of Gluteal Surgeons. We're trying to save lives. We're trying to educate surgeons and the public about how to do this operation safely, how to pick a safe surgeon. The Brazilian butt lift, or BBL, pulls fat from unwanted areas of the body, like love handles or the stomach, and transfers that fat to the backside. I'm the one doing the procedures, and everyone else is sort of helping me. In the D.C. area, Dr. Armando Retana says interest in BBLs is growing, so he encourages potential patients to make sure their doctor cleared for surgery, check their prospective surgeon's credentials, and see if those doctors can handle tough questions. Have you had a major complication? Have you ever had to admit a patient to the hospital after a procedure like this? Even if they've ever lost a patient, BBL surgery has been linked to deaths that occur when fat travels into the bloodstream and blocks critical arteries, a risk that can be reduced in the hands of properly trained surgeons. Doctors reminding patients and peers what's at stake isn't just looks, it's lives. Justin Finch, News 4.